Okay, so I'm going to show you a quick way to create a lined page that you can use to create a PDF file that you can upload to Amazon to produce a notebook or journal and sell online. Let's go. Okay, so first of all, open up Illustrator, go to File and click on New and you'll be presented with this page. So we need to open up an artboard of the correct dimensions. Now, in order to produce a file that you, a lined page that you upload to Amazon, we need to produce a file that has what they call bleed. Because the lines go right to the edge, when Amazon prints that and then trims the book, some of that page will be trimmed off. So we need to create a leeway for that and that's called the bleed. So for a six by nine inch page, which is the the normal size, the common size for a notebook, we need to add in 0.125 an inch on the right hand side and the same for the top and bottom. So that makes a page or an artboard of width 6.125 and a height of 9.25. That's the 0.125 of an inch at the top and the same at the bottom. So do that and click on create. So now we have our artboard and I'm just going to reduce the size of that so it's easier to, to deal with. Now we want to draw a line across the top. So click on P or go to or click on the pen tool on the left hand side. Now just hover the, the pen tool over the left hand side edge of the artboard and don't start at the top. Give it a little bit of a margin. So a bit of depth there and that's so you can write your, your headings on the page and it just makes it look more professional than you know a line starting right at the top. So just start somewhere around where I put my pen tool and click and then just drag across and Illustrator, you'll see if you move that up and down, it will click into a horizontal position and then just click. And now you've got your line and then press V to go back to the pointer. So you can see we've got our line here. Now just Highlight that once more. Now we need to get it at the right colour because black is a bit dark. If you prefer black, that's fine. But I prefer a light grey colour. So over here on the colours panel, make sure stroke is on top. Double click on the numbers for the colour and I use CC, CC, CC. And this will give it a grey colour. Now you'll see underneath there's a fill box there. It probably won't make any difference, but I normally, just for completeness, click that for none and then highlight the stroke box again. So now we've got our line and we need to get that at the correct thickness. Now at the moment, if you go down to the panels on the right hand side, you'll see there's a, a box that says stroke. If that isn't visible, just go over to the menus at the top, click on window, go all the way down. And if there's no tick next to stroke, just click it and that stroke box will appear. And at the moment we have a weight of one point, which is, I think, a bit thick for a, for a notebook. So just double click on that and use 0 0.7. 0 0.6 or 0 0.7 is fine, but for this we'll put 0 0.7. Oh, we didn't highlight the, the line. So do that again, double click, 0 0.7. Okay, so now we've got a line of the correct width. So now what we need to do is produce Another line, another line, another line till our page is filled. Now this is gonna be a college ruled paper. You have things like wide ruled and college ruled. They're the two most common lined papers. So we need to have each line separated by the correct distance. Now for college ruled paper, that distance is nine over 32 inches. And we need to translate that into a decimal figure. So if we go to nine divided by 32, that comes to 0.28125 but we'll just round up to 0.2813. So make a note of that number, and then go over to the menu at the top, click on Illustrator and go to Preferences. Now, first of all, we need to make sure we're using the correct units. So just click on Units, and make sure General there is set to inches, not points, because millimeters, but inches. Okay, and then click on General, and this is the important bit, this keyboard increment here. Just double click on that and type in 0.2813. Click enter and that will set the keyboard increment at the right number and then click on OK. And this is where the magic begins. So just highlight the line, click on Alt and this is on a Mac keyboard. 
So I click on the equivalent on the, on the Windows keyboard and then click the down arrow. And there you go, it produces a line at exactly the correct distance from the first line. So you can keep clicking down, 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 and we can delete that last one. There might be one there just on the page, don't worry about that. In fact, we can delete that, because that's that, that one won't be important. So now we have our line page, all the lines separated by the correct distance for college ruled. As I said earlier, there's also uh, wide ruled. And we'll just do a search on, on, on the internet to find the, the correct uh, distance, if, if that's the sort of paper you want to produce. But more commonly, in these sites of notebooks, college rule is the norm. Now, before we just copy all those lines and go and paste them over into Keynote or PowerPoint to produce our PDF document, we need to create a box around the edge here. And there's a number of ways to do this, but probably one of the quickest and most accurate is to go over to the left-hand side menu click on the rectangle tool or press M. And then somewhere over in the gray area, just double click and then set these figures to 6.125 inches wide by 9.25 inches high and click on OK. And click on V to go back to your selection tool. Now we've got a box here, but at the moment this has a stroke and it's gray because we did the other lines as gray. So we want to click that as none. Now if this box is filled in, black or white, and just highlight the fill box and click on none there and then go back to just highlighting the stroke. So then we want to place this exactly around the edge of our artboard. Now you can do this just by dragging and it will click into place. Or if you want to be really accurate, go over to the align box on the right hand side. Again, if that is not open, just go to window at the top and, and click on align uh, to produce a tick next to it. And then here, where it says Align 2, make sure that says Align to Artboard. Then click on Horizontal Align Center and Vertical Align Center. So that's exactly in the correct place. Now you want to highlight the whole thing and then Command or Control C to copy. So we'll go over to Keynote. And this will be very similar on PowerPoint, but this is on a Mac, so it's going to be Keynote. And then go to File, New. You just want a plain white document. Now we need to get the correct size, so click on document, slide size, custom slide size. Now this is in points, not inches. So we need to get the, the correct figure for the points. So if you go over to your web browser, go on to just search for inches to points conversion, and you come up with this handy calculator. So the width is 6.125, which is equal to 441 points and the height is 9.25, which is 666 points. So go back to your PowerPoint file and put in those figures, 441 and 666, okay. We'll just move that up there and increase the size. Now you want to get rid of these boxes, so just highlight, delete, highlight, delete. So over on, the, uh, on Illustrator, we highlighted everything. We copied Keynote, and just press Command V or Control V to paste. And there we have our lined page. So now we just need to, in order to create the notebook, um, we need to create a number of pages. Now for most six by nine inch notebooks, they're often 120 pages long. So we need to create 120 copies of this. So go over to left, click, Command C, copy, and then paste, and you'll see another page appears there and then again. And you just do that, and you can keep it pressed actually until we get down to 120 pages. And that will give us the, the keynote file that we need. Okay, so there we have 120 pages. So we can call this something like demonstration file. Now I normally save all my notebook files to a particular file on my computer called Notebook Assets. And click enter. Now we want to create a PDF from this, so just File, Export to, PDF, and Next. And then Demonstration File, Notebook Assets, Export. So now we've got our PDF file, our 120 page feed PDF file, which can then upload to KDP on Amazon to create our notebook. Obviously, you need to create the cover, create the title, subtitle, etc. I'll be doing another video on how, a quick way on, on creating covers. And then you have everything you need to create your own notebook on Amazon 
which you can sell and hopefully make some money. Now, I'm going to show you something just to make this look a little extra fancy. But before we do that, remember, if you like this video, click subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I produce the next video. And also give it a, a thumbs up like if you like it. Okay, so just to add that little bit of extra special sauce, we'll go back over to our file on Adobe Illustrator and we're going to create a margin down the left hand side. Now for college ruled paper, and you can check this if you do a, um, a search online for dimensions of college ruled paper, the margin is one and a quarter inches from the left hand side. So click on P for the pen tool and then top left hand corner, just click and then go all the way down and click again and then press V to get back to our pointer tool. Now you remember that box that we produced on the outside. Now this could interfere with this line that we've just produced. So go over to the layers panel, make sure the layers are, are visible and you'll see that box that we produced there called a rectangle. You can change the name of that if you like and we need to lock that so it doesn't interfere with this line. So just go over to the right hand side of that little eye, click and you'll see a lock appear. So now when we click there, nothing happens. And we've still got our line over here, so you just hover your pointer tool over it and you'll see we've highlighted our line that we've produced. And then all you need to do is just move it across to the right hand side. Okay, now try and keep it, you know, don't move it around. If you just keep the, the mouse just moving smoothly, Illustrator will keep it in place to a certain extent unless you start, you know, veering all over the place. Now you see that little box and it says DX, you'll see that number changes as we move from left to right. So if we move to the right hand side, and this is in inches, you'll see it change. Oh, I veered off slightly there. And we want to get to one and a quarter inches, so 1.25. There we go. And then just let go, and we've got our line. Now we want to have a nice color because most margins are either a light blue or light red. So make sure the stroke box is on top and then hover around this nice rainbow array of colors, go to the right hand side and pick, not dark red, but the light ready pinky color. Click on there and as we did for the lines we want to make sure they're the right weight also. So at the moment that's set to 1 and we'll change it to 0 0.7 which we did for all the other lines. So click 0 0.7 and click outside the page and there we have a fantastic looking notebook page or journal page with a lovely margin on the left hand side, just to give it that extra little pizzazz. Now, what you need to remember is that we locked off that box on the outside. So before you copy and paste it over to Keynote or PowerPoint, just click on that little lock, that unlocks it. So if we just click on it there, you can see it, it, it uh, highlights. So it's just a case then of highlighting everything we've done, clicking copy, and going over to your keynote file or keynote page and pasting like we did with just the plain lines and creating the 120 pages, then creating the PDF file and you've got yourself a 120 page PDF file to produce your notebook. Now if there's any other types of interiors you want to see me produce, whether it's a different type of printable, a different type of line page, uh, a dot grid page, whatever, then let me know in the comments below and I'll do a tutorial on that because I produce a lot of interiors, a lot of printables, mainly on Illustrator, but I can also look at different methods such as free methods like Canva, which I will probably go over anyway. So before you go, remember, click on that subscriber button and the notification bell. So when I produce the next video, you're on it. So that's all for now. Always a pleasure, never a chore. Bye for now.